welcome back to my channel. So a while ago I filmed a video on my bind organisation and how I organise all of my folders for school and I got a couple of comments on it asking if I could go more in depth and actually show you guys exactly what is in one of my binders. So that is what I'm going to be doing in today's video. I'm just going to be going through this binder here which is for chemistry and showing you guys exactly everything that is in it and how I organized it. So this is my folder from school last year um, but yeah I'll just be taking you guys through it. So I'm going to shift the camera into a bit of a different position so I can kind of show you the inside of it and I'm just going to talk through it with you and show you exactly what is inside here. So this is my binder here. It is from Marbig and I just bought it at Big W and I'm gonna open it up but every time I'm like covering up something I'm just covering up the name of my school. So these first two things right here, oh very good, um, these are the two exams I did last year so one is for semester one and this one is for semester two and so I just keep them at the front of the file because they're kind of really important and also that was the last like piece of work that I did for school that year so yeah they're just at the front there and I'm not going to show you the front of them because it just has my school all over it. And then next I just have my periodic table and my list of irons. I never kept that in this folder throughout the year. It was always in my day folder which I took to and from school because I always needed it. But now that I'm on holidays and I no longer need it, I just put it in the front of this folder. So this is all of my exam stuff and it kind of just got shoved at the front once I finished school. But yeah. Um, I probably should organize that, but anyway. And then here we start the actual folder. So this is a flick file and it's just got all of my tests in it. So every single test that I did, this is the multiple choice sheet for one test. Every single test that I did for chemistry throughout the year and then we got given back is in this flick file. And I like to use flick files to keep all of my tests together because it's really important that I keep them all in a safe spot at the front of my file. And yeah, flick files are just good for that. Oh, I spilled some chemicals on this, obviously. And then I have all of the investigations that I got given back. So at the front of my folder is kind of like all of the assessed pieces of work that I've been given back. So tests were there. And these are all of the investigations that I did, um, as you can see. And then here are all of the assignments. Oh, look, 10 out of 10. Woo! -hoo! And yeah, so these are all of the assignments I did. There was like 21, I think. Like, there was a lot of assignments in there, but yep, yeah, they're just all in one plastic sleeve because I don't really need to have them in separate ones because I'm never going to go back and look at them again. And then this green thing here that you can see behind it were all of the, like, assignment information sheets. So that's all that. And then we have a divider, and this has my school name up here, but this next section, so that was all the assessed pieces of work, and this next section is all the, like, important course documents I got given. So this is, as you can see, information for students. And then this sheet here was just kind of more information that we got given at the start of the year. So I just put that there. And then we have another divider. And now we start just going through every single topic that I did. So for each topic, we kind of got a booklet and then we like write notes in class. And so that is basically what I filed in each topic section. So this is a section for the first topic, Atomic Structure and Properties. So this is the class booklet that we got given. And then these are all of the notes I made in class. Um, they're just all in one file thingo. And so that's just kind of how my file goes. So this was the next topic that we did, bonding. Here's the booklet for bonding. Um, and then after that, oh, so here's the revision pack that we did. Um, so that's like the revision for the test. I'm not sure where the other one was, but yeah, this is revision for the test. Oh, I obviously printed it out twice. We, we got, we get given a copy in class and then sometimes I print it out and do it again if I have extra time before the test. So yeah. And then these were the notes that I made at home on this topic that didn't end up in my final like end of year summary of all my notes things because I just didn't want them in there. So they're there. And then here are the notes that I made in class, um, all in one plastic sleeve again. And then here is an experiment that we did during this topic, but it wasn't assessed. So I just put it in like the topic section of the file. 
and now we move on to the next topic section and you can see all of my topics are separated by these um, divider things so this is the booklet for that topic and this topic we got given two booklets for so that's why there are two booklets um, and then here is the revision pack that I got for that topic oh and here's a another booklet yeah maybe there are three Oh no, is this... no, I don't know. <laughs> there must have been three booklets in this topic. Um, and here are the notes that I made in class. Oh wait, no, these are more notes that didn't make it into my end of year thing. So any notes that I do in class or notes that I make at home but don't make it into my final like final notes booklet. So basically what I do is I write notes for every single topic and put them in like a little flick through um, plastic sleeve little file thing um, and so I've filmed a video on that on my channel so I'll link it up here and you can go watch the flip through of all of my notes from all of my subjects but um, some of the notes that I make don't make it into that end of your file they're just not good enough so those are the ones that I'm talking about here um, so these ones here were not good enough to make it into that file so they're in this little plastic sleeve instead and then all of my class notes are in there as well and then here's a new topic so you're seeing a pattern obviously we have divider we have the topic booklet we have the revision pack and we have the class notes and then I ran out of dividers so I just stopped using them but we still have the booklet the revision pack the revision pack number two because I did two um, the booklet the second booklet because there were two booklets in this topic some class notes and the revision pack and the revision pack again and the final topic for the year organic we have the booklet and the revision pack. Oh yeah, there's not as many class notes towards the end of this file. Like for the last few topics you'll notice I didn't have class notes and that is because I started writing my class notes in like a lined exercise book instead of just on loose leaf paper. So now they're in a lined exercise book and they're not on loose leaf paper so they don't need to be filed away in plastic sleeves in here. So that is the end of my file. That's basically everything as you can see just to recap at the start we had um, all my exam stuff and then we had all my tests and assessed pieces of work and then we had the important course information and then I just went through all of my topics and had the topic booklet and revision pack and any notes and extra information that I got given in that topic and I just went through using dividers all the way with that until I ran out of dividers and then I stopped using dividers but yeah so that is basically my camera battery just died but yeah that's basically everything that is in my folder and I file all of my subjects in a similar way so yeah most of my subject folders look like this yeah so that is basically how I organize my binders for all of my subjects I do also have a day folder that I take to school but at the moment it has nothing in it because I'm on school holidays but I'm going back to school in like less than a week so if you'd like me to film a video on what's in those day folders um, then definitely let me know, comment down below and give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed because I make heaps of study and revision related videos helping you guys to get the best grades you possibly can and I'm currently in my final year of high school so I have lots of experience um, in school advice and stuff and so if you're interested in those revisiony type videos then make sure to subscribe but thank you so much for watching this video i really hope it's helped you out and now you can kind of see in the inside of my folder so you can see exactly how it's like and i know it's a lot easier to understand things when you're actually shown exactly like what is in there so yeah hopefully you found that useful but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great rest of your day and i'll see you next week bye